Hey everyone, a viewer requested for me to scroll through the Locomotion Layers animation blueprint and show all of the currently selected animations for the Locomotion system. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. The idle and turn in place animations from the UUS animation set are inside of the idle category. Next, there is the cycle category, which contains animations for jogging and walking. And these match up directly to the names in the enumerator. Next, we have spin, and this is where things get a little bit more complicated. For the walk right, we're using the walk spin right forward 90 degrees to right backwards 90 degrees counterclockwise. For backwards, we're using walk spin right backwards 90 to right forwards 90 clockwise. And this pattern is continuing. I'm not going to read through everything out loud as everything should have ample time on the screen and you're welcome to pause the video. Moving on, we have the stop animations, which are split up for, or by, I mean, right up and left up for walking. But other than that, they match up with the cycling. And when there were version 2 animations, I did use them in the place of version 1 animations. Next we have starts, which follows the same pattern as stops and jogs. I said jogs, but I meant to say cycles there. I'm probably not going to bother editing these videos or this video. There's two mistakes in a row <laughs> since it's such a short one. Next, we have the pivot section, which is a bit more complicated as it is split up by the foot that the animation starts on with the foot that's up, I mean, and it is also a little bit counterintuitive. I maybe could have worked out the logic I maybe could have worked out the logic a bit better here, but essentially the direction aligns with acceleration and not velocity. So it's the new input direction that you're pivoting to. So for forwards here, we're not going from forwards to backwards. We're going from backwards to forwards. For backwards, we're starting at forwards and going backwards. So the pivot assignment isn't the starting direction it's the ending direction however because of the way that the current hip facing system functions and how it's based on animation curves the hip facing isn't updated until we're halfway through the pivot animation so the hip facing matches but the direction doesn't so for the right forward slot we have left forward to right backwards for right backwards, we have left backwards to right forwards. So you're reversing the direction, but not the hip facing for the strafing animations right and leftward. For left forwards, we have right forwards to left backwards. And for left backwards, we have right backwards to left forwards. And that pattern continues for the rest of the pivot animations for jogging and walking left up and right up. Finally, we have the in air animations. And here we're using the Lyra MM unarmed animations directly from the Lyra starter project. I just migrated them into this project as the UUS animations that does not have jump animations.